This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails, I'm your host Derek Schomer, and today we're going to create the Pineapple Mojito. Now things might look a little different if you're a normal viewer of the show, because we've changed a, a few things and got a new camera, and that's kind of affecting perhaps the sound. So this will be our first week, bear with us to figure out some of the glitches of what we're doing. Uh, other than that though, we're making the Pineapple Mojito. So this is kind of like a mojito, we've had other mojitos that didn't have like rum, or we've had, uh, what are the cachaça ones? Who's this from? This recipe is from Paper Monster 87, the, the pineapple mojito. Um, and the the re, the same submitter submitted last week's tiki punch, punch that everybody liked at the party we were at. So I uh, got good feedback about the live, well, not live taping, but taping in front of a live studio audience. Uh, so that was cool. This recipe is going to have more mint, so we're going to do 12 mint leaves. I've got a mint garnish. I've got an ounce and a half of light rum. I've got an ounce of lime right here is our ounce. I've got an ounce and a half of pineapple juice right here. I'll open that now. And and a half ounce of peach schnapps. So it's like a mojito, but maybe a little more, I don't know, feminine or something. You know, there's certain drinks feminine. that people like. Feminine, like girly drink. Mojitos could be potent. They could be sweet. There's a lot of ways you can go. This, I think, really is going to go towards sweet. Sweet. All of Paper Monster 87's drinks do that. I know, which is why it seemed like a good way to start the week. And what I'm going to do is move my obnoxious mint over here. This is my own mint. I grow in my own garden. Yeah. I'm going to muddle it right in here. And we're going to muddle the mint with... So gone of our days of not being able to find mint. That's right. Of course, if we made mint drinks every week... I don't know. We have an awful lot of mint out there. Yeah, but you, you kind of... Kind of like a weed. Yeah. Like this, I cut down. I'm sure it'll be back next week. So they said 12 leaves. I mean, that's a lot, but that's okay. Because tastiness is the result. So we're going to model that with lime to really bring out some of the flavor, flavor crystals locked in within that mint. Do you have to, like, give somebody props for flavor crystals? Who says that? Flavor crystals. Yeah, extra or oh. gum. I thought you meant like somebody said that. No, I said that. Well, flavor crystals. Uh, no. Yeah, that's that's a gum, I think. I think it's a gum that had yeah, flavor some crystals. Gum, but you know what gum. I don't remember. Um, and I did also get comments about what side of the muddler I'm supposed to use or that I was using the wrong side. I use both, um, whether it's proper or not. I do because... Sometimes it stains, and I can't get it out. So I like to rotate back and forth, thinking maybe it'll last longer. But the stains do eventually come out of there. Now, the difference here, though, is there's no simple syrup, which typically goes into this part of the drink, which brings up the sweetness. But we got some peach schnapps for that. So what we're going to do is we muddle that. Now we're just going to put everything in here. We're going to do our shake. We're going to strain into a highball. We're going to garnish. It's going to be awesome. I need something to measure this with. Did I not bring anything to, oh, there they are. Panicked, I'm in a panic mode. So I'm gonna do a half ounce of peach schnapps. Oh yeah. Loving me the peach schnapps, so much so that we're almost out. Not good. An ounce and a half, grab the handles of our crujan. So there you go, it's a light rum recipe. Now we'll do, we got our 12 mint leaves. We'll do an ounce and a half of pineapple juice. This always adds a nice consistency too. Especially when you shake it. We're good to go. We're gonna throw some ice in here. I'm gonna use crushed ice in the end, but for the shake, to chill it up, I'm gonna use regular ice. See, and I tried, this is experiment number one. I'm always experimenting. It's not as white as it usually is, because I boiled it first. I wanted to see what impact it made. And it's not, it's not clear yet. I think I need a Brita for that. 
shake that up. Again, you wouldn't shake, I don't think you typically shake a standard mojito. You kind of build it in the glass. Oh. Now, Paper Monster said strain it over ice. I want a little extra ice though, because I want to strain it, but I want it to, I want the mint to kind of be in the middle too. And we want to bring in some of the minties. I don't know if I'm going to like this. I don't think I like pineapple juice with peach drops. Huh? I don't think I like pineapple juice with peach drops. No? Now, I want to, I want to get some of those mint leaves back in here. Pineapple and peach drops isn't too, too bad. Get some of those in there. Kind of keep the mojito effect. Now, if you want to, you can try shaking it with crushed ice and pouring it in, but um, the ice gets kind of melted. And I'm a big fan of really icy, chilled up mojitos. Let's use a I have an obnoxious straw we can use in here. I want to use the obnoxious straw. No. No. I can leave it off. A little bit of uh, sand on my mint here. It's fresh. I don't think that's sand. Yeah. Because it... Dirt. There. Oh, yeah. So there you go. I don't know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive in with this. Whoa. Wow. That maintains the peach schnapps does not, it just doesn't cut that line. This is so much more sour. This is tasty. This is more sour. I'm going to say I'm leading towards like an almost a super sour acidity to it. It's got the mint. I don't get that much, I get, I get some rum potency, not much, but a little bit, but there's a huge bite of lime. So this reminds me closely, if I had to pair this against another drink that of its same type, I would say definitely the margarita with that like, almost a slight dry bite to it. Sour. But what do you, what do I think where you get delicious, you salivate a little bit, you wanna have a little more, I'm getting some of that action. Okay, I have to take another sip. Plus, that's awesome. A little bit of water, water downness to it too. It's a little, little light, but bite. Light with bite. I'm gonna call it that from now on. Light with bite. Anyway, I am your host, Eric Schomer, for the pineapple Moji pineapple mojito. Thank you, Paper Monster eighty seven, for another tasty drink. Everydaydrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.